Well, Peter did. Uh, he wrote up another. Is it? This is a best of Saturn. One of his best of Saturn article. Little little blurb on uh, Sonic Wings special. And uh, are, is it do you special have, though? Is it special? I think it's special. I mean, it's special in so much as it's like the first three games, right? Or it's like el it's a shmup with like the elements of the first three games. Am I right? Yeah, pretty much. Uh, I I believe so. So yeah, it's uh, the Sonic Wings special, or in the West, it is known as Arrow Wings, is the produced by Video Systems and published by Media Quest exclusively in Japan. Mm -hmm. um, originally, the first game I believe was a standalone arcade board, and the and Arrow Wings two and three were on the uh, were on the Neo Geo. Right. And this game series is crazy. Like the second one, you can actually play as a dolphin and a baby. That's right. Like flying a jet and killing killing stuff. Yeah, but it's a it's a really fun game. Yeah, there's a uh, over 20, 20 craft in this game available, and uh, what else? Like it was released in Japan and ported to arcades in the U.S. It was known as Arrow Fighters, like you said. Okay, no Saturn version though uh, in the U.S. Sadly. Yeah. Uh, and it fe you know features exclusively Tate mode. So I, I mean, like that is I, that's standard Tate resolution. <laughs> like that that I just looks so. like really tall. <laughs> The weird thing is, is that, uh, is that on the Neo Geo, there actually isn't a Tate mode. Oh, right. It's because just, it's uh, a, uh, yeah, it's just the standard. I don't think they, they didn't have any Tate mode games for the uh, Neo Geo, sadly. Not so, even one single, not even one single Tate I don't mode. Think yeah, so, yeah no. no, because every Neo Geo was a standard cabinet, right? With a, with a, yeah, yeah that's true. So Neo Geo was really big on like horizontal shmups. And now that yeah, so horizontal and then uh, semi horizontal. Semi horizontal. Shmups, yeah, so. exactly. Captain Toma Day would be like one of those weird, <laughs> like God. vertical. Hey, you know, I mean, it's not that bad. Uh, it's just awful. Is all. It's just awful. Is all. No, there are there are some one. examples. There are some examples, I suppose, of of uh, like vertical shmups, but there aren't that many. Um, and then uh, what else? Yeah, you covered everything else. Release includes a mini yeah, CD. Like yeah, there's some other stuff, other cool functions on there, and they're like, uh, it has a, it's sort of a one to two player vertical scrolling using elements from that. Mm -hmm. Over 20 planes available, release Japan. Yeah, I think we got all that, right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah I for think sure. We're good on that. Man, but yeah, you know, um, did you I've, play that ever? I've played, so, okay, so I think that, I think that folks who are into like shmups on the Saturn probably can relate to this. You get like an entire, you get like an entire cake box of discs, right? And you you like burn something like 50, I don't know, 20, 25 to 50 CDs or something, right? You know, like um, at some point in my life, I'm not, <laughs> I did this, you know? And of course, this is one of the games that I burned, but like there are so many good shmups on the Saturn that I would be lying if I said that I spent like a ton of time with this one. I think this is one of those passing I think this is one of those ones that I played in passing, but to be honest with you, I didn't spend a whole lot of time with it because there's just so many great shmups on the Saturn. Uh, honestly, I'd be lying if I said that I had extensive experience with it, but I did play Aero Fighters, uh, and I did, and I am familiar with the game. You know, I'm, I'm familiar with it. What about you? Have you played it a lot? Uh, give me a second. Hold on. <laughs> like, give me a sec. Oh, maybe he's having technical difficulties or something. So, uh, but, uh, but the thing is, yeah, with this game, it's like the ones, the vertical shmups that I have I'm a lot a, of, exp what's I'm up? I'm a fan of them. What's up? I'm a little, little oh. fan of, uh, Aero oh. Fighters. Okay. All right. Cool. So you got it for Probably. MVS. Yeah. I got the both Sonic. Well, yeah. Sonic Wings, uh, or Aero Fighters 2 and Sonic Wings 3. Technically it's the US version of it, but. Uh, right. Okay. But yeah, no, I have uh, both of, both of those copies on there, so I'm a little bit of a fan of it. You're a little fan, okay. So well, then are you a fan enough that you have a, a Saturn version? Do you have a, di a Saturn disc? Uh, no, I just have the <laughs> I just have <laughs> the uh, MVS versions. There you go. Okay, all right. So yeah, I haven't. Uh, you know, I've played the game, but I haven't played it extensively. So you know, uh, but I can definitely say that uh, you know, it's it certainly is. Prob it's probably one of the mid-level, mid-tier uh, shmups in terms of, you know, I think folks would agree that it's not, it's definitely not in the bottom tier, but it's definitely not like cream of the crop stuff. It's like right there in the middle, decent. If you can get it for a good price, probably worth it. Uh, it's I think it's one of the more affordable 
Japanese shmups, you know, like, and by affordable, I'm talking like 50 bucks, you know, around that area, you know, it's, it hasn't gone crazy yet, but I mean, of course the whole market is going crazy. So yeah, you can find but, it. yeah I, I, I would play it on, on the Saturn just for the Tate mode, honestly, but I just already have them on all the original hardware. So it's like, I just play it there. I'm actually looking this up for you guys. So it's Sonic Wing special. And I can type. Okay, here it goes. Sonic Wings. Can you type? Special. Well, I s typed Donic Wings. <laughs> Donic. Special. Saturn. Let's see what it's going for. I mean, it's like people's people's asks are hovering anywhere between like 60 and 100 for the crazy listings. Uh, but again, like it seems like it's a seventy dollar game. When we look at look at sold listings, so yeah, sixty five eighty. Well, sixty five plus eight dollars shipping from Japan. So yeah, this is like a seventy to eighty dollar game. Uh, yeah. So strike what I just said because like my memory <laughs> was a little dated. It was only like a it was only like a year or two ago that we were talking about this in one of our podcasts. And it was like a fifty dollar game, so there you have it. <laughs> yeah, I mean, you can also you, should, you can also get Arrow Fighters two and three on the Neo Geo for uh, sixty two and one hundred and fifty six dollars respectively. Yeah, or you can get a Satiator, <laughs> or you can get a or you can get a uh, a good old Fenrir, get, get a, uh, or you get a uh, the MVS stuff, the Terra Onion uh, the Neo SD or something. Right, I can just hear people in the chat like Terra Onion. Boo! <laughs> no, they got some good stuff. They got some good stuff. 